India, climate, vegetation and wildlife. India is a large sized country. It has a variety of relief features. The vast size, varied relief features, latitudinal extent, proximity to the sea and the direction of monsoon winds are the important factors which affect the climate of India. Study at a glance. Climate of India. Seasonal distribution. Natural vegetation. Wildlife. Conservation of forests and wildlife. Climate of India. The climate of India is broadly monsoon climate. Monsoon has been derived from the Arabic word mosum which means seasons. India is located in the tropical zone. Hence, most of the rain is brought by monsoon winds. The climate of a place is affected by the following factors. Location, altitude, distance from sea, relief. Hence, we experience regional differences in the climate of India. Jaisalmer and Bikaner in the Rajasthan desert are very hot. On the other hand, Kargil in Jammu and Kashmir is freezing cold due to difference in altitude and location. Places at the coast like Mumbai and Kolkata experience moderate climate. Mausin Ram in Meghalaya receives the world's highest rainfall. On the other hand, it might not rain at all in Jaisalmer in Rajasthan in a particular year. The factors that influence the climate of India are the following. Tropic of Cancer The Himalayas Peninsula shape of South India Relief Tropic of Cancer Tropic of Cancer passes through the middle of the country dividing it almost into two halves. Southern portion of India falls in the tropical zone while northern portion in the subtropical or temperate zone. During summer, the entire country experiences high temperature. During winter, southern portion remains warm, moderate, while some parts of Himalayan region experiences temperature below freezing point. Hence, our country lies in tropical zone. The Himalayas The Himalayas protect India from cold and chilly winds of the central India in winter. They cause the southwest winds to shed their moisture all over India and thus provide rains to us. Peninsular Shape of South India Due to peninsular shape of South India, Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea exert their moderating effect on the entire peninsula. Relief Relief also plays an important role in the climate of India. High mountains are cooler than plains. Due to cool climate of hilly regions in India, several hill resorts have come into being such as Dharamshala, Shimla, Manali, Missouri in the Himalayas. Seasonal Distribution Broadly, four major seasons are recognized in India. They are Cold Weather Season, Winter, Hot Weather Season, Summer, Southwest Monsoon Season, Rainy, Season of Retreating Monsoon. Cold Weather Season, Winter during the cold weather winter season, cool dry winds blow from the northwest to the southeast in north and northwest India and from northeast to southwest in the south India. Sun rays do not fall straight in the region north of the Tropic of Cancer. It results in the low temperatures in northern India. Hot weather season, summer. The northward movement of the sun from the equator leads to a rise in temperature in India. Hot and dry winds called Lu blow during the day. Temperatures are at their high. 
South West Monsoon Season or Rainy Season. This season is characterized by the onset and advance of monsoon. Winds blow from the Indian Ocean towards the land. They are moisture laden. When these winds are hindered by the high mountain barriers of the north, they ascend along their slopes, get condensed and cause rainfall all over the country. Season of retreating monsoons or autumn. Winds move and turn back from the mainland to the Indian Ocean. This season is called the season of retreating monsoons. Coastal areas of India, particularly Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh coasts, receive rainfall in this season. Natural Vegetation The term natural vegetation refers to the entire growth of plant life that grows naturally from the smallest grass to the tallest tree. Climatic conditions vary in India from place to place, region to region. Hence, India has a wide range of natural vegetation. They are tropical rainforests, tropical deciduous forests, thorny forest, mountain vegetation and mangrove forests. Tropical rainforests. Tropical rainforests occur in the areas of heavy rainfall. They are dense and even sunlight does not reach the ground. Numerous species of trees are found in these forests. They shed their leaves at different times of the year. Hence, they always appear green and are also called evergreen forests. Mahogany, ebony and rosewood are important trees. These forests are found in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, parts of the northeastern states and a narrow strip of the western slope of the western Ghats. Tropical deciduous forests. These forests are found in the areas of 80 to 200 centimeters of rainfall. The seasonal contrast of temperature and rainfall affect their growth. Teak, sal, shisham, neem and mango trees are the main species of trees grown here. Thorny forests Thorn forests are found in dry areas of the country. Their leaves are in the form of spines to reduce loss of water. Cactus, Kher, Babul, Kikar are their important trees. They are found in the states of Rajasthan, Punjab, Haryana, eastern slopes of western Ghats and Gujarat. Mountain vegetation. A wide range of species is found on the mountains according to height. With increase in height up the mountains, temperature falls and rainfall decreases. Tropical deciduous forests. The tropical deciduous forests occur in the foothill region. They are economically very useful. Sal is the dominant species of trees in this region. Subtropical forests. Subtropical forests occur at a higher level where oaks and chestnuts are the main species. Coniferous forests. The coniferous forests occur from the height of 1500 meters to 3300 meters. Pines, cedars, deodars, and silver firs are the main trees of this region. Alpine forests. Alpine forests occur above the height of 3,300 meters. They mainly consist of firs, birches, junipers and pines and above that shrubs and grasses up to the snow line. Mangrove forests. 
Mangrove forests thrive in saline water. They are found in Sundarbans in West Bengal and in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Sundari is a well-known species of trees of these forests. The delta of Ganga, Brahmaputra, has been named Sundarbans after the Sundari trees. Wildlife There are about 80,000 species of animals and large varieties of reptiles, amphibians, mammals, birds, insects and worms. Tiger is our national animal. It is found in various parts of the country. Gur Forest in Gujarat is the home of lions. Elephants and one-horned rhinoceros live in the forests of Assam, Kerala and Karnataka. Camels and wild asses are found in the Thar Desert and the run of Kutch. Wild goats, snow leopards, lesser panda, bears inhabit the Himalayan region. Numerous other animals are found in our country like monkey, wolf, jackal, cheetah, etc. India is rich in bird life. Peacock is our national bird. Other birds are parrots, pigeons, myna, goose, bulbul and ducks. Crows, goose, vulture and owl are major birds that are commonly found in our area. Deforestation and hunting have resulted in the disappearance of several species of wildlife of India. Many species have already become extinct. Birds found in our area are crow, sparrow, pigeon, parrot, coil, etc. Conservation of forests and wildlife With the depletion of forest cover, our wildlife gets affected. Forests are the homes of wildlife and the exploitation of it disturbs their habitats. Moreover, hunting of animals brought certain species on the verge of extinction. Certain animals and birds like the tiger, lion, Indian bustard, black buck and rhinoceros have been declared as endangered species. Wildlife is an important asset for the country. Tourists are greatly attracted by the rich wildlife. Loss of forest and wildlife is a matter of great concern. Forests play an important role in maintaining the ecological balance. Steps for the conservation of wildlife In order to protect wildlife, numerous national parks, sanctuaries and biosphere reserves have been set up. A national park is a reserved area where wildlife are preserved in their natural setting. The purpose of a national park is to preserve natural vegetation, natural beauty and natural wildlife. A sanctuary is a reserved area where endangered species are preserved and developed. The purpose of a sanctuary is to preserve endangered animals and birds. Hunting and poaching of wild animals have been banned. Summary India has a diverse landscape and climate. India may be roughly divided into five landscapes physically. The climate of India is also varied with hot and humid equatorial climate to cold and dry tundra type. Due to her geographical location, India has a rich variety of natural vegetation. The diversity of physical and climatic conditions provide a suitable ground for diversity of wildlife. The continuous exploitation of forests is threatening the existence of many wildlife.